Hello, this is Dustin from ProAVSchool.com. What I'm going to do today is give you an update to our popular video on how to create an X panel for uh, testing and debugging programs. Now, the old version was before Smart Graphics came along. Now that we've got Smart Graphics, I want to show you how to do a Smart Graphics panel. A lot of the process is the same, but I'm just going to start from scratch. So, in simple Windows, I'm going to create a new program. Double click to select from the list. I'm going to do an MP2E because that's what I've got here. Um, now, under my Ethernet, I'm just going to pick a slot, let's say three, double click it, and then again, again I get my list. There's a couple different ways to do this, but I like to do it this way, it makes it simpler. Um, here's the key XPanel 2.0 Smart Graphics. Don't pick XPanel, pick this one. So now I've got that as IPID03. Move over to my program view, and I'm just going to create a very simple program. Let's do an interlock. Let's do four symbols. So I've got my simple interlock. My smart graphics panel. The presses are coming from here. The interlock signals are going there. Save this on my desktop. I'll call it demo. Now, if I go to my vision tools, all I need is four joins and that's smart, a smart graphics panel. So I'm going to create a new one, new project, and I'll do it on my desktop, call it demo, and panel type, X panel 2.0 smart graphics. That's the one that I want. Now, with the smart graphics, um, I'm just going to pick the standard theme. You can kind of define whatever size you want your panel to be. Um, position and size, 800 by 600, that's fine for me. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new page, call it page one. And we get our nice fancy smart graphics. Uh, maybe give it a, an interesting background, display it. Now, if you've never used smart graphics before, it's kind of it's a learning process to figure out all the properties you need to go through and select um, can be kind of painful. For example, backgrounds. Um, not only do you select the color, you got to actually click display. It's kind of painful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw a couple buttons. So I'm going to create four simple buttons here. Label button one. Now, very important show control feedback. It's not a property that's selected by default. So, I'm going to make sure I select that. That'll show me my interlocks. And paste the group. Select these all and line them up to the left. Distribute them evenly. Now there's a couple different types of buttons. You have to play around to see. The simple button doesn't give you some features that you might need, so you might need to go with a more advanced button that'll give you different properties. Um, display object join numbers. There are no join numbers, so it was one. Now a new thing about uh, smart graphics is you actually get a digital visibility join, so that's kind of cool if you're doing a button that's only applicable when certain things are happening you can give it a join and if you don't feed it that join it won't show up so that's pretty cool so anyways got this here now I'm just gonna go actually sorry I forgot the main part on your root of your panel 
select that, and then you look over here, X panel properties. This is where our connections are going. Um, this is the name on the window. So let's just call it that kiosk mode. I haven't tried that yet. I think that locks you into certain functionality so people can't get out to your Windows desktop. Um, connection settings. I'm 192.168.1.128. Um, IPID 03. And that was what we had set. You see right there, IPID 03. Just going to save that out. I'm going to F12 and compile that. I remember like before, if you open this window up a bit, you don't have to go searching for it. All you need to do is double click. Now I've already got um, Adobe Air installed. If you don't, you have to run this installer.air and then you can open the panel. For me, I can just open demo.c3p. So that'll open up. It's not going to do anything because we haven't loaded the program yet. So now I'm going to go into simple windows and compile this. Transfer file. Put it to my processor. Just give it a second. Send that file. Yes, I want to overwrite the IP table. Now while it's re rebooting, I'm going to jump over to Toolbox. And I'm going to refresh this page. Now, of course, the processor is rebooting, so it's going to take me a second or two to get everything synced up here. If I look here, I see my IP table, IPID 03, 127.0.0.1. This is because we're looking at the MP2E, the processor. It's got a connection to itself status online so we should be good to go so I'm going to open this up you can see there that I've got my interlock and it's because I did this this way last time I'm going to show you with test manager what's going on and let's get that set up here again press one press two press three and press four so this is very simple smart graphics. Now, the nice thing is you can start playing with some of the widgets and figure out what they do. Um, the switch, video switching widget, for example, you can observe the analog joins and see what's actually happening when you're doing things. So that's it for now. If there's anything specific that you would like me to go over and show you in one of these videos, please leave a comment um, or visit proivschool.com and uh, send a message to me. We've also got an email newsletter that has all sorts of tips and tricks about audiovisual um, from a professional standpoint, and I would encourage you to join that and become a part of our community. Thank you.